Hey everyone, you're watching another episode of Everywhere You Are. Today we're at the Van Brunt Still House here in Brooklyn. And we're gonna taste lots and lots and lots of whiskey. Well, the people on tour are probably gonna taste a lot of whiskey. I'm only gonna taste a little bit just so I'm not dead drunk at the end of this episode. But uh, I'm really looking forward to shooting this because we're gonna get a tour. We're gonna talk to Brandon, who's a distiller, and Patty, who's a mixologist. I don't know what the hell any of that means, but they're gonna tell us, so stay tuned. We have Patty and Brendan here. Brendan's a distiller, Patty's a mixologist. So before we even get into anything else that's going to happen on the tour, we need to make sure that everyone out there knows what those two names mean. So we're going to start with Patty first. Explain what a mixologist is. Okay, well, um, a lot of times I tell people I'm just a bartender. Really, it's just... You're more um, than that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, maybe. Uh, so what we do here, actually, is we uh, make cocktails. New York State passed a law recently that allows us to make cocktails down here at the distillery. So the, the tasting room is open for cocktails now, and um, we're only allowed to use our spirits and other New York State distilled spirits. So it sort of limits our selection a little bit. We can't add bunch of mixers to yeah. things, so we have to be creative, and I think you seem pretty creative. Oh, thanks. So that's why I get, to, I get the mixologist vibe from you. Okay. It's not a bartender, I feel it. Okay, alright, great. Alright, so now you guys get what a mixologist is, let's talk about what a distiller is, because I feel like, are you the person who just makes sure that everything is just like, up to par? Uh, no, uh, actually it comes down to just making it, so mm -hmm. I'm the guy in the back doing most of the production doing the mashing, okay. uh, the fermentation, and then doing the stripping runs. And then our owner and master distiller does the spirit runs, yeah. which is the second one, which is the most important. So how long does that usually take all the mashing and putting everything together? And doing so everything? from uh, milling the grain to barreling, uh, probably takes about a week. Okay. Yeah, maybe about five days of fermentation. Okay. Yeah. All right, I like that. Uh, so a little bit about the tour. Um, when people come in and they want to know about the whiskey, I know you guys have, I, I'm, you guys know out there, I don't know that much about anything when it comes to anything to drink that's an alcoholic beverage, so bear with me. But I know you guys have rye, American, malt, and what's the other? A bourbon. And a bourbon. Right. And you guys will talk about that on the tour. Absolutely. All right, yep. and everybody gets to taste that? Yeah, we, we run through and taste three different whiskeys, the ones that are sourced from New York State mm -hmm. um, in here at the end, and then uh, people can stay and taste things again if they would like to take a bottle home, or we also... I like that. So everyone out there, make sure that you stay tuned. We're going to talk some more about whiskey. You're going to see people kind of take it to the face and just have a good time. Okay, bye. Bye. Alright, so we're going into the actual distillery and we're going to get a tour right now. We have some people coming in. Um, this nice lady is going to go on the tour as well. So follow us and let's go on a journey. Magical whiskey journey. So this is where the whiskey process starts. We mill all of our grain outside, so we break it down. Um, grains like corn and malted barley, they have husks and hard membrane that we need to kind of break apart and uh, so we can have access to the starches that we're going to convert to sugars. So once we've milled all of our grain outside, we send it through this pipe that you see here. It has a giant auger inside of it and uh, it's brought in by this engine. And here, in this unit right here, it's called a grist hydrator. It hits water, so the, the grain flour will hit the water that's coming through this tube. and It'll come into this giant pot, which is called a mash tin, in the consistency of like oatmeal. And we heat this up using our steam injector. So these white pipes coming out of this boiler room right here is where the steam comes. And then it is diverted right here. And then the steam will also heat up our steam jacket to our still, and also come in here to heat up the mash tin. So the reason why we heat up the, uh, the oatmeal consistency, or the mash as we call it, is to convert the starches to sugars in a process called hydrolysis. So each grain has a different conversion rate, meaning converting starches to sugars. So we heat each grain up 
to their conversion temperature, trying to extract as many sugars as possible. And we'll add our enzymes in here and uh, just try and convert as much as possible because the end goal is to introduce yeast that will feed on the sugars and produce alcohol as a byproduct. So that's what's going on. has L'Oreal's technology to match your skin's unique tone and undertone. Not just from light to dark, but warm to neutral to cool. With 33 innovative shades, more than anyone else. So your perfect match, 100% guaranteed. It's my skin. My story. My true match. The one and only true match from L'Oreal. And I'm worth it. All right, so now we're heading back into the bar portion of it so we can finally taste this whiskey. I think we're gonna have a few different things, so don't mind me if by the end of the show I'm a little woozy. But that's what we're looking forward to, so uh, let's go back in there. So I'm gonna start you guys, we're gonna taste the American. The American is our four grain whiskey, which we talked about. This is the mash bill right here. It has a little bit of corn. It's predominantly a wheat and malted barley whiskey. It also has a little bit of rye. This is uh, kind of our master distiller's homage to New York distilling uh, around Prohibition, where there wasn't much corn in our state. So they would use uh, multiple cereal grains, usually four grain whiskeys in New York. So this one doesn't really fall into any category. It's kind of pretty unique to our distillery. Really smooth, really tasty. This is the American? That's the American, yeah. So we got the American right here. Smells really good. Are you tasting it? Yeah, it's really flavorful, really buttery. It has like a big mouthfeel. Like I like yeah. it. Yeah. We keep all of the esters on our whiskey, so we don't do any yeah. chill filters. Yeah, I just delivered a case. So um, all the lipids and oils from the grain that come through, we keep in there. Um, a lot of big distilleries, they'll chill filter, and when those oils and uh, fats will coagulate in the bottom, and then they'll take them out. But you lose a lot of the aromatics and a lot of the taste of the whiskey, um, so we keep them in there. Yeah. 
these are our house made brandy cherries and we make our own bitters and we make our own vermouth. Actually this is our batch 4 of vermouth um, which is something we've just been experimenting with. We, 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 uh, we just make it. We make it here. We make our own ice. So uh, I'm glad I'm not a drunk host. But um, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Thank you again to the Van Brunt Still House. Don't forget to book a tour and to visit them online at www.vanbruntstillhouse.com. Until next time. There's a rule, there's a rhyme, move along and the rest will follow I 